You've got it tuned to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online around the globe at kexp.org. And much to our delight, Nick Waterhouse is live in our studios with quite a gang today. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. You all seem very calm and serene. Oh, that's the trick to performing. Well, let's uh, see what happens when the you-know-what hits the fan. Why don't you take it away with some music? All right, we're going to do this tune called Dead Room right now off my new record, Holly. Here we go. Waterhouse live on KEXP. That sounded phenomenal, as is your new album, Holly, played tonight at Barboza. And I know this band is such an important part of your sound. You want to introduce the gang? Oh, I'd love to, yeah. So let's start with the rhythm section on the drums, Los Angeles, California, Mr. Richard Gowan. Richard Gowan. On keys, very talented JT Thomas. On the Fender bass, Mr. Rob Douglas. Rob Douglas. My horn section, compromise of uh, Miss Emily St. Amand and Paula Henderson. And on vocal duties today, the very talented and lovely Miss Britt Manor. It's wonderful to hear you all together when you were warming up. I wandered down the hall and there were horn players just walking through the hall tooting on horns. And I mentioned that you were uh, so serene at the beginning of this set, but it was juxtaposed with the craziness going on in the room seconds before we went live. Clearly you're a group that has a lot of fun together. It sounds like on and off stage. Yes, I would say that's true. There are many jokes to be had. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we when you travel together for a certain amount of time, you start to develop a uh, a psychic language of your own so um yeah it's a lot of fun everybody's been playing really hot on this tour and they're 
they're a gas to hang around with as well. So. Well, we mentioned the new album, Holly. How about another song from that? Sure, certainly. This one opens up the uh, record. This is called High Tiding. It's Nick Waterhouse live on KEXP tonight, playing at Barboza, the new album, Holly. And Nick, tell me about the making of the new album. If I'm not mistaken, you're a producer. I know you worked with the Ala Laws. I love that album. Did you produce this record yourself? I produced this record with uh, Kevin Agunas, who owns Fairfax Recordings, which is uh, the studio that I ended up making the record at. I had written a lot of the material and actually tried to record it um, at a few other places, and uh, I ended up sort of working through a lot of things and finishing up at Fairfax and really figuring out what it was going to be to me. Um, I came in not intending to work with somebody else, but but Kevin was really great at allowing me to uh, sort of go through my own paces and then chime in with, with a few good ideas here and there. And obviously on top of that, the architecture of of his studio as far as equipment goes and how he had everything set up just felt totally natural to me so it made for a good pairing. The album has a real moody feel to it and it sounds to me like the songs have a thread going through them. Is there something that ties them all together? Is it a thematic album? Mm, yeah I would say um, you know it's not a um, I think it's it's I grew up really listening to Astral Weeks a lot, and, and that's a record that's not like a concept record, but he said that it's sort of a song cycle. And I don't really like to think in terms of these sort of like Baroque rock and roll concept album ideas, but I, I definitely wanted to have some filmic elements. You know, I, I was always profoundly influenced by both writers like Hart Crane and T.S. Eliot, who sort of 
establish an atmosphere in their work, but also like Lieber and Stoll were talking about how they wrote records, not songs. You know, they wrote something that was supposed to be a little three minute film and like a coasters or a drifters record. Um, so I felt like I wanted to kind of fuse that with the new one. And, and I think Holly is, it's as much about an, a protagonist as, as it is about myself, like any work of fiction, you know? It does kind of feel like a little film if you listen to it from beginning to end, both lyrically and music wise. Sure. Yeah. Um, I know that you covered a song by the great Mose Allison on there. Can you talk a little bit about that? You mentioned actually Astro Weeks, which is one of my favorite albums. I played something from that earlier today, oh, okay. coincidentally. And I know Van Morrison was a big fan of Mose Allison, sure. as many, many, many artists. Many were, yeah. Yes. Or have been. Um, Mose Allison was somebody that was like my Beatles. Like um, when I was a teenager and I first heard him, um, it was like, somebody was finally telling me the truth that I always knew. And um, he's somebody that I guess I've, I'm going on, I think, 12, no, 13 years of listening to him. And it's when I'm, when I'm in trouble, I tend to listen to Mose. you know? Like, he's, he just feels right. I, I mean, he feels, he's like a, a musical Buddha. <laughs> and uh, I never stop being rewarded by his, his music. So um, just sort of the way that he uh, formed his voice was a, was a really massive influence on me, and not in terms of uh, attempting to emulate him at all, but just more how he, again, like fused sensibilities that I could really identify with and, and yet had this seemingly like very simple but wise and direct kind of almost like Lenny Bruce or Richard Pryor, but with bebop and country blues all together you know I, I love that about him so I, I'd always wanted to do a tune and I figured let it come down really fit in the in the album so well he's of course a legend who's in his mid 80s and you know you work with contemporary artists and kind of you have a fusion of sound that is very interesting I know that Ty Siegel another one of my favorites is someone that you've worked with so you kind of mix the old with the new yeah I mean that's me um, in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, Ty and Moe's exist in the same plane in my mind, which I guess a lot of people don't feel the same way. But yeah, Ty played drums on my last record, and I, I do his song It on this record as well. But he's somebody we kind of grew up in the independent music scene, and, and I have such respect for him, and it's it's been such an honor to kind of grow alongside of him. I mean, watch him grow and then grow alongside of him, I mean... I think that he's somebody that's very important to maybe my generation in a way that I would have never expected, you know. Well, we here at KEXP would agree with that wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. We're very excited to have Nick Waterhouse live on KEXP and would love to hear more music. Sure. Um, I'm going to do this tune called Sleeping Pills. It's a drug song. <laughs>
like tea leaves in a china cup It's Nick Waterhouse live on KEXP, the new album's Holly. You got time for one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do the uh, title track. Ready? It's Nick Waterhouse live on KEXP. Tonight they play at Barboza here in Seattle. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for having me. Thanks, KEXP. That sounded fantastic. You're listening to KEXP Seattle.